Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the main event of the evening? But before we get started, in the house today, we have twins celebrating their 15th birthday. Jacob and Aiden, where are you? Jacob and Aiden, please rise. Stand up on those chairs and get a happy birthday from everyone here in El Paso. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening. It is a great pleasure to introduce to you none other than three letters, V I P V I P VIP. Joining us tonight, we last we saw him, he was punching his ticket into that uh, Lucha Frontera Heavyweight Championship bout that will come up later this year against El Dragon. Yeah, that was, that was a surprise return. Surprise return indeed. Managed to work his way into that triple threat matchup. Yeah. And he is here tonight to compete, not against El Dragon, but he's taking on Minotauro. Um, really to kind of stay active and, and show that, hey, you know what, he's a, he, he plans on being a fighting champion. Definitely, regardless of the challenge. So VIP. VIP! VIP in action tonight against Minotauro, carrying one championship gold, hoping to make it two coming soon. And his opponent this evening, put your hands together for the one and only that they call Mino Dauro! Minotaro, we've seen him many times on Lucha Frontera, stepping up and taking on this matchup. And can you can you imagine, Big D, what it would mean for him as a statement win if he were to pull the upset tonight against VIP? I, mean, I, feel, I feel he'd have a case trying to put himself in the championship picture if he's able to pull off a win. Absolutely, the number I mean, one contender. And I think that's the risk that you run here if you're VIP. You know what happens if if you lose this matchup? Right now, does Minotaro leapfrog you for that title shot? I mean, one can argue maybe. I think it'd be up to our, our new GM if, if that would be the case. But I mean, I would think so. Mino Tauro! That's a great point. And our new GM, uh, Big Mac McKenzie, he is going to be watching this closely. He is ringside tonight, watching this matchup very closely. And, and here he comes, actually. Here, here comes our GM. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge, none other than Osito. Well, now, wait a minute now. Wait just a moment. I love a good song like anybody else, but by all means, hear me out. Now, this match here, it's supposed to be, I believe, a number one contenders match for my title what? as your new champion. And this match can't be any regular match. As the new GM, this is going to be a lumberjack match. Oh, wow. What? Where are my lumberjacks? Now. Come on, lumberjacks. So, and the Guardians of the Children. Guardians of the Children will be acting well, as lumberjacks. what do you know? I got my lumberjacks. You won this title, you're gonna have to earn a shot at it. 
Well, for those of you unfamiliar, Lumberjack match, if one of our competitors makes it to the outside of the ring, it's the Lumberjack's job to make sure they get back into the ring by any means necessary. Emphasis on the by any means necessary. By any means necessary. So you don't want to be outside of the ring. And apparently this is a number one contenders match now. Hey, 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 hey! Primero que nada, ¿dónde está la gente VIP? Mira tú, pinche güero desabrido. Ese campeonato es mío, cabrón. A mí nadie me lo ha ganado. Por lo tanto, yo soy dueño, portador de este campeonato. Ahora, tus pinches ayichicles estos, estos pinches perros, ¿tú crees? que van a poder con el coronel VIP. Estás muy equivocado, cabrón. Cuando cabe esta lucha, mira, doble campeón, me voy a coronar. Tú, guárdame eso ahorita que acabe la lucha, me lo devuelves, cabrón. Eh, eh. Tú sabes... Hablas mucho, Samurai. Hablas mucho. Primero que nada, buenas noches al paso. Segundo, te lo voy a decir muy bien, cabrón. Por eso me trajeron para partirte tu madre, cabrón. Many were spoken. Now let's see what happens. Yeah, well, this is a, a number one contenders match now. Rather than a title match, so we want to specify that. Number one contenders match. And we'll get a photo up. Right, so now this is a title match? I think it might be. We might need I think that's what they're saying. This is going to be a title match now, but... Well, what does that do? Well, El Dragon, if he's watching at home, he's, he's going to be he's beside be himself. He's gonna be, he should be. Yeah. Now this is for the Lucha Frontera Heavyweight Champion. Oh! oh. Adding a little extra emphasis now that yeah. he knows the stakes. And what an opportunity for Minotauro. Oh, yeah. He came into this matchup on short notice, and now he's got a chance to be the Lucha Frontera heavyweight champion. That's a, that's that's an amazing oh. opportunity presenting here. Oh, huge oh. super kick! Oh my goodness, and Almost that could be it. Instantly stopped that momentum. Caught him right on the chin. VIP all business tonight, looking to become a double champion. VIP not not happy with the reaction he's getting. Not happy at all. But you know what? There's got to be a lot of El Dragon fans out here. There probably are that are upset about the fact that El Dragon looks oh. like he just got skipped. Yeah, he just got skipped. He was the, the first one to, to punch the ticket to yep. that title matchup. He had been waiting for a contender, I believe. Yeah, and now now he's out. He's left out on the cold. VIP strong-arming his way into that triple threat to get his name into that title consideration. This is ridiculous. It is. Speaking of strong arming. Yeah, strong arming indeed. He's got the arm around the He's neck. Trying to bite the horn Minotaro. off. He is working that chin. Hearing it from the crowd. He's going to be hearing it from El Dragon. Somebody needs to call him and tell him to get down here. His title shot's getting stolen. It's been stolen, it looks like. Yeah. Huge backdrop, though. Big backdrop. Here's the cover. One. Oh, grab the oh, rope. Yeah, why is he grabbed it? Two. Shoulder up. VIP. He's been trying to cheat and steal his way into this matchup. Minotaro looking for some crowd participation here. Out, out to the Lumberjacks he goes. Um, out to the Lumberjacks. And now they got to get him back into the ring. That's the rules. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, those are guys they usually have the strap with. match. I'm surprised the Lumberjacks don't have the straps in there. Back in. Minotaro, there's no escape. Nope. Oh, clothesline. big clothesline. Here's the cover. Hook of the leg. One, two. Shoulder up. Minotaro. VIP trying to end this early. Trying to go celebrate. VIP, he is all business right now. Usually he's a little more jovial. More showboating to the crowd, but no. No, he's he is all, focused. Yep, strictly business. It looks oh, like. big leg drop. He has gold in his eyes. Here's the cover. One, 
two, shoulder up. Minotato hanging in there. VIP getting frustrated though. Minotato trying to rally the crowd. He needs the love and support. Getting a mixed reaction, it looks like. Yep. Perhaps he's taking the legs out from Minotato, it looks like. Yeah, perhaps he, VIP's lost a few fans with his behavior as of late. Head bounces off the turnbuckle though like that. Oh, big spear! Minotato, that could be it. Here's a cover. One, two, up, shoulder up. Just Almost. barely. That was like two and a quarter left. Minotato quarter. nearly becoming the Lucha Frontera heavyweight champion. Looking for some uh, momentum here. Yeah, the rabbit punches to the top of the head. Getting the warning from the ref with the closed fist. I don't think he cares, though. No, I don't think he does. <laughs> Another one for good measure. Minotaro now looking to rough up VIP. Oh. Oh, stiff kick. Yeah, a kick of his own. After we saw earlier, nice basement drop kick. And Minotaro now starting to cruise. Starting to gain some momentum, it looks like. Some of this crowd is behind him. Yeah, taking VIP off his feet. Minotaro would definitely be the crowd favorite in this one. VIP alienating everybody. Oh, big suplex there. Here's the cover. One, two. Oh, wisely grabbing the bottom yeah. rope as VIP. Showing that great ring awareness. Yep, knowing exactly where he is and knowing that he doesn't have to exert that much energy to get out of that pin. Yeah, veteran move from VIP. Oh, definitely. The ref warning him. Minotaro got to watch out with that count. Yep. Minotaro now continuing to break down VIP. I'm trying to take out the base of VIP, it looks like. Yep. Oh, shot to the midsection. Dummy VIP out now. Lumberjack's got to get him back in. And there they go. VIP doesn't want to have it. He wants they a break. He's going to get him back like... into the ring. VIP, what is he trying to? It looked like he was almost going to try to escape underneath the ring. And now oh, he's got he's it again. The other way. Oh, nice, nice body lock. And they've got him back in. Lumberjack's doing their job tonight. They sure are. Making sure he gets back in there, back in the action, and he doesn't get to rest. Yeah, not for a lack of effort, but <laughs> VIP now. Not happy with that. Yeah, I think you see the fatigue starting to set in. He got off to a real hot star here. I don't think he planned for the matchup to go this long. Oh, now they're both turning on the ref, it looks like. Yeah, I don't know what's happening they're here. Give him some lumberjack the action. Referee out. <laughs> Lumberjack's now working to get the ref back in the ring. <laughs> there you go. Again. Yeah. Oh, roll up, the but roll. the ref's outside. Yeah, see, the ref can't count it anyway. Oh, oh, big face buster. Big face buster indeed. Here's the cover. One, two, shoulder up. Oh, so close. Just barely in the nick of time. Both men trying to catch their breath now. Yeah. Both men pretty winded at this point. A lot of horsepower exerted in this matchup. Oh, Minotaro. Back up. Looking like he's caught some kind of second wind, it looks I like. I mean, he is part Minotaur, so I would kind of expect that. Maybe. Maybe, you know. He has mythological powers. Very true. Oh, man. VIP showing off the strength. Showing how strong he can be. Look at that. Just picks him up oh. and puts him right down. Big slam. Here's the cover. One, two. Oh, and the shoulder up. <laughs> Another close call. Just in the nick of time. Both men so fatigued. VIP, the frustration. Been yeah, and it's been near fall after near fall. So each man almost there. They're just trying to figure out what extra they got to put into this to put this match away and win that title. They certainly do. Man, it's hard oh. With that spinning kick. I've got a big slam of his own. Oh, Minotaro calling it. He's calling for the end. And the end might be near for VIP. Minotaro, big man going up to the top rope. Can never be good. No, it cannot because that's a lot of mass coming down. That is. Oh, my goodness. That could be it. Big swan. Here's the cover. Down. One, two. Oh, and the almost, shoulder up. Oh, he almost Unbelievable. had that. I was for certain that, that the match was over. I thought that was, that was it. 
I honestly thought that was I didn't think there was any way he was going to be able to kick out. And the match continues. VIP showing just how bad he wants it. Minotaro now maybe a little bit of frustration here. He's trying to figure out what he's got to do to close this one out. But VIP with a miss. Oh, oh huge sit down power bomb. One, two, and the kick out. VIP. VIP mad at the wrong person. Yeah, he's gonna. I think that was the just. Wrong person. I think that's just blind rage, honestly. Yeah. Maybe a little groping. A little bit. I think it's a uh, misdirected anger. We'll call it that. Yeah, we can leave it at that. That's cool. VIP looking for some help here, trying I to get the help crowd from the, behind from the him. crowd that he's alienated the whole night. Now he's calling for some help. There they go, back and forth. Yeah, they're the gonna forearms. Be sore tomorrow. Oh, Minotaur loading up the big forearm. VIP responding with multiple. It's a little game of one-upsmanship here. Oh, he's got him up. Got out. I thought it was almost a sidewalk slam there, but picks him right back up. Oh, my oh. goodness. That Your could be Nagi. it. One, two. Three, that's it! VIP's new champion with the Yurinagi. That is it, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, VIP! And based off of what we've seen, it looks like VIP has now become the new Lucha Frontera Heavyweight Champion. Well, we gotta wait for uh, Big Mac to confirm that for yeah, us. Yeah, we'll have to check with the GM here. Making this impromptu matchup, making it a Meanwhile, title matchup. That senton right there, I thought I knew the pot that was put away. I really did. I thought that was going to be the end of the matchup. B I P. Big Mac entering the ring now. Our general manager, Mr. Big Mac McKenzie. We'll see what the verdict is here. Oh, yeah, he has some words in his own. Quita. Quita la música. Pinche música fea para empezar no son corridos. ¡Eh! Hey! Pues sáquese la chingada aquí si no me quiero ir. ¡Viva! ¡Huevito, hijo de la chingada! I prove to you that I'm still Lucha Frontera Heavyweight Champion. Not only did I never lose my belt, but today I regain it. By winning this match with Minotauro. So now, hand over what belongs to me, my title. VIP making the demand. Oh, and dropping Show the disrespect. mic. Disrespecting our new GM. Uh, now, now, uh, hear me out now. VIP, you have disrespected me. You have mocked me. But I'm a man of my word. And it is my honor to give you, give you this belt. He's really going to just give him this belt. I think he is. He's going to give it to him. Oh! Well, that's more like it. I, th I think Big Mac may regret that decision. He might regret that decision. You don't want to bite the hand that feeds you. VIP may have to pay oh. for that soon. VIP now going after our new general manager. Kicking him out of the ring. Just no respect. I mean, he kind of had it coming. Made this matchup. El Dragon's got to be furious. He earned his way for that this title shot. I'd imagine there'd be some... Oh, wait, wait, wait. The Lumberjacks are coming in. Yeah. Pushing them back in. Putting them back into the ring. <laughs> he loves VIP. But does VIP love him? Ah, it doesn't seem so. Nope. Doesn't seem that way. Oh, the, the Lumberjacks lumber still trying to, trying to get guys. the GM back into the ring. VIP. And VIP's had enough. He's out. It looks like our new GM has had enough. Maybe he's going to rethink this assignment. 